Hey Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to see how to set up the Node MCU V3 ESP8266 12E development board and connect it to Wi Fi. Hey everybody, I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to try something a little bit different today. Uh, I want to get into the uh, other development boards. So I want to start off with this uh, Node MCU ESP8266. And uh, if you're new, you may be wondering, well, what is ESP8266? It's basically a Wi-Fi microchip that allows full TCP IP and microcontroller capability, such as your general purpose input output, your pulse width modulation, and your analog to digital conversion, stuff like that. So with its built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, deep sleep options allowing very low energy consumption, this makes it ideal for your IoT projects. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to explore connecting to the internet, connecting to Wi-Fi, and see if we can have fun with this thing. So today we're just going to get started by setting up the board and then connecting it to our Wi-Fi. Because it's big, uh, mostly because it's wide, it has a hard time fitting on a regular breadboard. As you can see, there's no room to operate once you plug it in. You can always go with the male to female wire and then just plug it in to the bottom of your development board here. Just like that. And then plug this in into the breadboard. And another option would be to use an expansion board, much like uh, this expansion board for the Nano. And you can go on eBay and get these boards anywhere from $3 to $13 or $14, just depending on the posting. So those are some good solid options for you. Just know that uh, you're going to have a hard time fitting it in a regular breadboard. I bought these two boards on eBay, so there really weren't any instructions in the posting or a link to go to. But on the back it tells you uh, the first step is to install the CH340G driver. So what I did was I went to Google and I typed in the Node MCU CH340G driver, Windows 10, and GitHub. Hit enter, and this is where you can download it. Just click on that, it takes you to GitHub. I've never had any issues downloading anything from GitHub. And whether you have a Linux, a Mac, or Windows, if you have Windows like I do, you click on that, download the zip file, you open it up, install the zip files, and uh, that's the first step. After you do that, your next step is to plug in your micro USB to your board. And then we're going to go over to the Arduino IDE. And if you click on Tools and you come down to Board, you're going to notice that this is not here. You don't have access to these yet. All you have access to are the Arduino boards. In order to get access to this, what we're going to do is go over here to Preferences. We're going to go to File, Preferences, and you want to copy this URL into Additional Boards Manager right here. And I will include that in the description. Get down here and click OK. Then you can come back up to Tools and come down to Board. Go to Board Manager. Up here you want to type in ESP8266 and it will bring up ESP8266 by ESP8266 Community and here we see the board that we have, the ESP12E module. And you want to install this. After you install it, you go back up to Tools. You come down to ESP8266 boards. And there's our board right there, the ESP12E module. You want to select that one. You also want to make sure that you are connected to the proper port. So if you if you click on port here or hover over it and port doesn't show up, a port option, you may not have installed the driver yet or um, you just need to try another USB port on your computer. And I did not mess with any of this other stuff here. Upload speed, uh, 115-200. So I, I didn't bother any of this other stuff, and mine works fine so far. And you'll want to refer to the pinout for this board. I have uh, one jumper wire connected to D4, 
and according to the pinout it is GPIO pin 2 so you want to keep that in mind and I have that connected to the positive leg of my LED and to the negative leg of the LED I have a 220 ohm resistor which then is connected to the ground wire which is connected over here to G so very simple connection here and then from here we want to go back to our IDE and just uh, type in a simple code to blink that LED. So up here we declare uh, LED as pin number 2 even though it's a D4 it's GPIO2 and then for the setup we're going to call the LED pin an output and set it at low or off and down here in the loop we are going to set the pin high for 500 milliseconds and then set it low for 500 milliseconds and then upload it'll take a few seconds to upload down here and it appears that I have not plugged my micro USB connection in here so I will do that and then you want to come back up here and hit upload again it'll take just a few seconds to compile the sketch and then upload it so once it has compiled this is what it looks like once it is done now we can we can also go back up here and set this uh, to a quicker blink if you want 100 milliseconds upload and then you have to wait for it to upload and then once it's done you'll have the really fast blinking here so there, there is a connection to the computer which is good it's what we want our next step is to connect it to the Wi-Fi in order to connect to the Wi-Fi we want to use our same code that we used just a second ago here here and down here but we also want to add a few extra things we want to include the uh, ESP 8266 Wi-Fi we want to include some constants here such as the SSID to your Wi-Fi and then the uh, password to your Wi-Fi that you use to log on We'll come down here to setup and we'll connect it to 115-200 baud speed and have it print on the serial monitor up here that it's connecting to Wi-Fi and then come down here uh, you want to also include this to uh, so that it'll pull your uh, SSID and password as it's connecting to the Wi-Fi and we'll have it say connecting and then uh, each uh, time it receives serial data we want it to leave a dot just so we know that it's working and we'll come down here and we'll have it tell us on the serial monitor that it is the node MCU IP address that's what we want so we'll go ahead and enter our SSID and password and then upload it'll take just a second for it to upload down here it's compiling the sketch right here after we started the upload open up the serial monitor and we will reset it hard reset is what it's asking for right and there we go we have a connecting to our Wi-Fi this is connecting dot 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 and it gives our IP address so now it is connected to our Wi-Fi I hope the, uh, the video was informational, I hope it was helpful, and uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, check out some of the other ones, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you again very soon.